What's up, Chaos 1072 here for the final. Go on, Jer. Chaos Toy Review. Sorry, I'm doing this all in a row because G12 is massive. So, this is the last uh, major release besides Engine Die Shogun. Actually, this was the last release because this didn't come in until after Engine Die Shogun. So, yes, the last release of the Go On Jer. Maybe Engine Rotor, G, etc., etc. Came in last. I don't know. But the last main mecha for the year. And it is Curatio, the ancestors, the ancient engines, whatever you want to call them. The Power Ranger homage. And I'll just get that out of the way up front. Um, can't get at that piece. But it says Super Legends, and there's a P on this side, and there's an R on that side. And then I'll show you the last bit of reference. And not to mention the Zords, or the three male Zords from Power Rangers. Not sure if that was the intention. It's also intentional, but it's a thing. So, these two engine souls are placed the exact same way. And here is a candy toy version. Easy way to tell is it's got this little bit for a piece of candy. And this is one of the main reasons why I'm not bothering to put all the electronics in, uh, the batteries in, because since this one's a lot more difficult, you literally got to take this apart and swap out batteries. It's a pain. So, yeah, he's the only candy toy engine cell I soul soul I have. And these two posability wise, and these don't make um, voices since they don't have voices, or well, they don't speak human language. Um, neither the three of these do they speak roars and such. And the posability for these is they can open their mouths real wide. And then let's take a look at Kishamoth. Um, his name's Kishamoth. Uh, I believe this is K line, and this is T line. And they do form a train. Just pull out these little bits, connect them all, etc., etc. And his engine soul can be placed, all the engine souls can be placed without dismantling them. Just open it, and you put it in like this. And fun fact, America actually added Ranger figures to these, like they did with Jungle Fury, except that we did not get the Rangers in the show, probably because the show already went massively over budget. And this is, all three of these, as a conjoined as a joined group are piloted by Go On Red. So let's get into transformation. We want to take out this part, which becomes pants. So we'll fold them into its pants mode. And we'll transform these, just open them and sit them down whichever way they lean is an easy way to tell which leg they are. Leans that way, so you that leg. And you gotta completely dis dismantle him. And we'll start with this bit. So just, this is the center. You can easily tell by the fact that the head pokes up this way. So here's the center unit. And then use these black lines to line everything up. Then just unfold the head and plug them in. Now you might be thinking, oh, that uh, connection's not very sturdy. That's why this pants piece is designed the way it is. Just clip it around and it keeps this thing all secure. And we'll plug him into his legs while we're here. And I'll fold this bit down. Now take these, fold this bit out, and close them to form arms. Same, second verse, same as the first. And the head. And here's the last bit of reference to Power Rangers is it looks like Daijujin, aka the Dino Megazord, I think is the official name it's being called now. So, typical Sentai Max can only move these 
but looks really nice. You can activate all the engine soles from here. They're down here for him, and these two buttons, or you can just push his horn down. So, you must be thinking, well, what does he do? He becomes parts for G12. Unfortunately, he is the biggest parts mule. So, completely disassemble him. And put his head back in. Okay, so we got all these bits and pieces. What are we going to do with them? Well, we're going to combine them. So start with just take that apart. And then everything is pretty much how you want it. And then just return these guys to their kind of train mode. And then pretty much everything is ready to go for G12. So take your G9. Oh boy. I need to move this over. So, start with G9. I'm gonna fold this down. Exposed legs, and then take them off carrigator. I must be thinking, oh boy. I uh, see where this is going, and yes. He becomes huge. And you're gonna take this part, and you know it's for this leg because Burke is going to go in here so slap that on and you can already see where a massive part of this height comes from. You are literally taking a third of the total height and just slapping them on because this is somewhat unstable. Take him and of course plug him in. To his new stilts. And real sturdy. This thing is heavy. Whew. And there's little pegs here and just slap them on. Take the mustache off of the lion. Or bus on. You have Dai Shogun version and just slap it onto here. Then take the shield off of the back and then plug it onto this side. Sorry that I'm not getting everything in camera here, but there is a lot that I'm plug, gun, bird, and kind of compact him a bit. And for now, I'm going to compact him so I can bring him back a bit. And plug him in this leg. And take Burka. Kind of return him back to this mode and then just slide him in. Oh, you think we're done with the legs, huh? Nope. Take the arms. And plug them up this way onto the side of the legs to give him sort of hip armor. Ah, this one's always giving me the problem. There we go. And right up at that black piece. Take this piece and plug it onto there. Oh, he, he's still getting bigger. One moment while I pull up the picture. To know which way I put him. Alright, so. T-line on this side, K-line on this side. And you're thinking, oh, okay, we're done. Nope, you still got Kishmoth head. So, I'm gonna try and get an angle on this. Oh, 
want to straighten out the wings if you've tried to compact them a bit. But they're like, nope, you are getting all of G12. You are getting all of that mass in one place. And there ain't no compressing this. I gotta stand up for this. Make sure everything clicks into place. And I know I'm trying to describe directions. That's probably not the best idea, but it's honestly the way I am going to get this thing done. And then plug Jumbo Whale's head onto the chest of the Mott Sword. Or the place it was when you put it into its mecha formation. All right, so the reveal. Here is, oh, oh boy, okay. Here is G12. One of the biggest mecha ever. Four mecha in total combined into one giant cluster bomb of a mecca. Sorry that I'm out of breath, but this thing is heavy and unwieldy. You can see Tiger's Zord leg. Legacy Tiger's Zord leg. So yeah. And for size comparison, quickly, drop the American Ranger key. Here is a five inch figure. And he's barely past his ankles. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, go on to victory!